Hi, this is Jennifer with Esquadra Home Madrid, and I'm here in this one uh, in this uh, nine bedroom apartment located in Calle de Barcelo, just across the street uh, for Metro Tribunal, which is line one and line ten. And just across the street, also, you're going to have uh, plenty of buses connections. Uh, Calle Fuencarral is just downstairs as well, so that ca uh, that calle, that street, is one of the main streets in Madrid. And this neighborhood, which is Malasaña, it's well known for its nightlife. Uh, you're going to have plenty of bars, restaurants in this area, as well as grocery stores, supermarkets, drugstores, and anything that you may think of, it's going to be right here. So Malasaña, it's a great to live in, and I'm going to show you this great apartment right now. So like I mentioned before, uh, this apartment has nine bedrooms and all of them are, are numbered with uh, these tiny numbers in the doors. Bathrooms are, uh, they do have a letter. We have three bathrooms in the property. So I'm going to show you the first uh, bedroom, which is bedroom number one. Bedroom number one, let me show you the space. You're going to have this little um, chest of drawers. You're going to have this shelving space in here. The property is getting ready for you right now and you're going to have your desk in here. This one is an interior uh, balcony, interior window that goes uh, to the interior patio. And you're going to have the hidden unit right here for you. And there's an AC unit as well in this uh, bedroom. So this is going to be the closet. It's a standalone closet for you. And that one uh, is bedroom number one. Then we're going to move across the hall. You're going to have the first bathroom, which is bathroom A. Bathroom A, as you can see, it has its shower uh, sink and the toilet, and there's a mirror. Bathroom A is quite big, and actually you can move around pretty easily. So that's going to be bathroom A. Then I'm going to move, um, we're going to have this hall that it's actually the kitchen and the dining room, this space, this open area. And then we're going to have bedroom number two, number three, four, five, and the rest of them are uh, in the other side of the property. Uh, we do have an AC unit in the common area and as well shelving space in here. Okay, so this side of the property, all of the bedrooms, they do have a street view. For example, bedroom number two has a heating unit here, has an AC unit here, and has a double-sized bed. You also get a desk for you. You have a little balcony. And also this standalone closet for you to store your stuff. This tiny chest of drawer here. And like I mentioned before, that is Calle Fuencarral. So you're going to have preview of the street. And this is bedroom number two. I'm going to show you bedroom number three now. Bedroom number three, uh, bedroom number T, bed three. Um, we're going to have the hidden unit here, also an AC. There is a desk for you. And this is just an example of how it's going to be um, when you have all your sheets and stuff in here. You're going to have as well this standalone closet and the balcony with the street view of Calle Fuencarral. So uh, this is going to be the kitchen area. Uh, there's the laundry machine. We have an oven here, microwave, and we have two big fridges for you. As you can see, they're brand new, ready for you to use them. And the great thing is that it's since it's in an, an open area, you won't have any problems like bumping, uh, bumping with each other in the uh, in the space. So that is really nice. So I'm going to move to bedroom number four now. Bedroom number four, uh, it's a slightly uh, smaller than the previous one, than the number three. Uh, we do have the closet here. It's in the standalone unit. There's the desk. We do have little uh, chest of drawers here and we do have a balcony this one does have access to the balcony and as you can see let me show you here this is Calle Fuencarral and even though it's uh, in a main street actually it's not that noisy so that is really good so this one was bedroom number four now I'm going to move 
uh, to the space where the dining room, uh, the dining table is. As you can see, we have a pretty big one, and in order for you all to fit in here, then we're going to move to bedroom number five, which also has a balcony. We do have the uh, standalone closet. We do have a double size bed here, the heating unit over there, chest of drawer, and your desk. So, this is bedroom number five. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other uh, bathroom, which is bathroom B. Bathroom B also has a shower, a toilet, and a sink. And of course, some drawers for you to storage your stuff. So this is going to be bathroom B. And then we have bedroom number six, which has a double-sized bed. There's a standalone closet, a little chest of drawer, uh, your desk, your hidden unit. This one uh, has a, a window that will uh, have access to the interior patio. So this is a smaller room compared to the previous one, but it's still it's very nice. So that one was number six. Then we're going to have bathroom C. Bathroom C has a pocket door and we have the toilet, the uh, shower, and of course the sink. This one has a very nice storage space, some shelving in here, and of course some hooks for you to hang your towels. And that was bedroom C. Then we're going to move to bedroom number seven. Bedroom number seven also has a window that will uh, provide you access to the interior patio as a double sized bed, as a really big um, closet, standalone closet for you to use. We also have a desk. There's a hidden unit and a chest of drawer. So this is the interior patio. And this is the other view of the room. And this one was number seven. So uh, this is going to be another common area, which is the living room. As you can see, you're going to have a big TV for you to use and really comfortable couches here. I'm going to be right back to this one in a bit. I'm going to show you room number eight. Room number eight has also a double sized bed, your desk, your heating unit. You have a closet right here. And a little chest of drawer right next to the bed. And this is going to be room number eight. As you can see, the property is really big. Uh, there's plenty of space for all of the nine tenants. So you're going to be really comfortable in here. Uh, like I said, this is the other view of the living room. Really nice couches. So uh, finally, we have bedroom number nine. As you can see, you have a double size bed as well. You have this big uh, closet. A chest of drawer right there. You can actually put something in on top of that. You have your desk in here. And as you heard before, uh, if you open the window or the door, you're going to have this beautiful balcony. Tu calle fue en Carral. Okay, perfect. So that was bedroom number nine. Okay, so like I mentioned before, you're going to be in Calle de Barceló, which is just in the city center of Madrid, uh, Malasaña neighborhood. It's really great. You're going to have a great time if you live here. Uh, you have uh, plenty of space in all of the bedrooms. Also, you're going to have uh, uh, your uh, restaurants down the street. Uh, you're going to have uh, bars. Uh, Metro is just uh, across the street. Uh, there's a gym, there's a supermarket, a uh, big uh, market uh, in the same street, actually. Calle Barceló is great. So uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to love the apartment as much as I did. So this was Jennifer for Spot of Madrid.